Hello and welcome back to this Final Fantasy IX Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. Um, in the last episode, we tackled the Ilfa tree for the first time um, and defeated the monster there, which has apparently stopped the mist production. Um, but in this episode, we have been informed by the Moggles that we have to make our way back to Madame Sari um, in order because something has been stolen, which is important to Echo. So, we're going to go to that now. I will do this fight. I think I might pause and then go there because there's nothing much in between. What we can see, actually, let's have a look now. So we'll have Sedane Steel there. We'll have Vivi Defend and then we'll have Carbuncle just so we can see the animation. And then Rama, Rama, Ramu just to finish it off. Because we obviously got this last time. I don't actually know what Carbuncle is based off. If he's based off a um, particular, like, because quite a lot of the summons are based off particular deities throughout history. But obviously, he casts Reflect on everyone, which is, of course, very handy. Here to help. Nice. That must be summoning a. Uh, Summoning um, summoning combo because it's an achievement, which is always good. And then there we go. Right. So with that, I will see you guys back at Madame Sari. So here we are back. I am, however, just going to quickly use a tent with Mr. Moogle here. And we shall make our way back into Madame Sari. Maiden Sari, sorry. Madame. I'm home! I'm home! <laughs> here comes the Moogles. Moko, tell me the news, are you alright? Come now, talk later, Koopo. Koopo, Koopo. Hey, Iko. We better follow her. Here we go. Then we have to make our way to over here where we will see all of the muggles. What's going on, Echo? It's. it's. Oh, the precious stone that's been passed down the various generations is gone! My grandparents said. they said they we should take care of it because it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. <laughs> well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown-up now. Crying won't help one bit. Alright, how about we start looking for clues? I'll help too. Is it... Oh god, I can't do hiccups, guys. <laughs> Is it my fault? It's because I broke the promise and opened the Eva tree seal. Everyone, everyone was watching over the stone. Echo? It's just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So let's just look for some clues and get that stone back, okay? No. Okay. I wasn't gonna cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. We know that you go, but if you feel like crying, just cry. I'm gonna go pray to my grandparents. I'll be right back. If you need to, you can cry too, Dagger. My shoulder's always available. 
Yeah, thanks. What about you, Zidane? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clean when I'm sad. Cut it out. Hey, I was serious. <laughs> I heard a scream. It sounded like Echo. Damn it, the thief was still here. Zidane, I saw... I saw... <laughs> I saw her. It's the girl from Fossil Rue. She, she took Echo. They went to the Italy arm wall. Let's go. First things first, though. Whoa. The analog stick on my controller does not like this game. <laughs> so, the survival vest, always handy. And then in this little tiny box, we got ourselves a Phoenix down. Now, one thing I did do off screen is I did equip Zidane with the ability counter, which is going to come in handy here. So, let's make our way to Edley or more. Oh, first things first. Couldn't get to it before, but there's a Phoenix Pinion. peek inside. This is no way to treat a lady! What's this wing on him, Tony Rock? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandparent gave it to me! Get your grubby hands off of it! Oh, shut up and just be still until he gets here. I found treasure, Koopa! You also have an echo, Koopa. We're gonna heal. Then. Where's Mark? No, Mark is by behind me here, Koopa. Mark, I need you to help save Echo. Koopa, Koopa. I got an idea. It's alright, you won't be in any danger. Koopa. It's no use, Mark has always been a coward. Yeah. Well, we gotta do something. All right, let's go. Well, there's my good sir, Knight. What have you done, Echo? She was too boisterous. I put her to sleep with some sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? It's probably, she's probably sleeping well. If it's my pendant you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can do. This is too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant and I'll hand over the girl, Capiche. What happened to the pendant that you always have on? I have it. Oh, you really are good now. Cuff it up now. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Bran is after the royal pendant. I found another jewel just like it in this village. I'm glad I came all this way looking for it. Now, hand it over. If only Echo was conscious. Hold on. You're pulling something, aren't you? Stay right there. You, Black Mage. Huh? Me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. Zidane. Do it, Vivi. Okay. Oh, Vivi's great. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> I remember that I did a French accent. I don't know who you are, but thanks. Hmm. Oh, can you? Yo, can you stand? What's going on? Uh, where's that old hag? Oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You! So the tables turn, and now hand over the jewel still. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you're supposed to be the number one bandit. Ugh. 
I am not here to help. I just want you to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job. I don't work with hostage taking scumbags. Now get lost. Or would you rather fight more? <laughs> Mark my words, I'll collect the bounty on you someday. Yeah, I remembered that I gave this character a French accent, so I'm gonna keep it consistent, mate. Snell, fight moi. <laughs> just a second, what's going on? I told you, I am not here to help, I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough, let's do it. Sudane, it's okay. I was just looking for more ways to impress you. <laughs> so, here we go. This is not that hard of a match or a fight, but we will be stealing one thing. But we've got the counter, so every time he hits, he's obviously gonna, we're obviously gonna counter. Or a large percentage of the time. That was not what we were after though. And then counter. We're we gonna counter? Okay, no. But that is okay too. Steal. So, not anything there. Red jumps around quite a fair amount during this. Here I go. Come on. Hit him with the counter. <laughs> counter. There we go. This is probably one of my favourite uh, battle scene settings with the Edgeon Wall in the background. Come on! Yeah, I go. I'm determined not to let things disappear. Star Poison Apples, there we go. Alright, now we can go in the offensive. And Amrat has counter two. Oh, just reveal his name, sorry guys. <laughs> it's not necessarily an issue though. Can you predict when I'll attack? Here I go. We're actually gonna heal. I'm just gonna use one of these elixirs. Not handy. There we go. Ugh. See I go. Don't know why I've decided to make him French. I think it's the beard <laughs> that he's got. <laughs> as arbitrary as that is. And a tent. I lost. Go on, finish more. Can you stand? Give me back what you stole. Let go, I got it back. Now finish more. You want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish Moai then? You can go if you want. I won't follow. Oh, trying to trick Moai? <laughs> trick you? 
I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over. We're both alive. It's good enough, right? We gotta get back to what was stolen from us, after all. Uh, listen to you. I lost to some spineless thief. The Sly Eagle doesn't kill at whim. Keep that in a safe place. I will, thanks to Zane. Well, you're not going to leave me alone for after what you just happened, are you? Uh-huh. I'm going. Shall we? There we go. So we have successfully defeated that gentleman and got Echo's thing back. So we should go back and talk to her. I'm pretty good, thanks for asking her. Cheers, fam! <laughs> As we make our way. Back down here. Good boy! She's been quiet the whole time. Today, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until I reached my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys. I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? I would say so. I'll agree if that's what you want. Echo, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Huh? Remember what you taught me at the Ulfa Tree? You said you shouldn't lie to myself. You said I shouldn't lie to myself. I'm trying to be more honest with my own feelings. And you should too, Echo. I forgot my own advice, Fifi. Thanks! I'll wear the jewel is nearing. It'll be okay then, right, today? Received memory earring. Echo? I think Mc wants to talk to you. You went off without me again. You promised you wouldn't. What would I do if I went off and got into trouble? Cool boy. Oh well. Thank goodness we're all both alright. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Echo? Well, yeah. We're friends after all. We're born on the same day, and we've always been together. And this is our friendship with Mock David and me. Do you have a ribbon I gave you? Kupo! This is the one I gave to Mark. It's too big for right now, but we're both sophisticated ladies. We'll wear them together. Kupo! Maybe then, Zane, you'll dance with me? Zane? I didn't know Mark was a girl. <laughs> I wonder where Jacko went. So we have successfully uh, so we've got the ring back. Always handy. If you actually look over here, oh, where is it? This game. Uh, I'm just gonna stop using the analog stick at some point. There's writing on the wall. Echo H3, Mock H3, same age. You can see, like, you know where they do the drawings and the heights. I can hear a song. Dagger. From down there? Dagger, are you there? It's 
so I'm to drink, guys. Sorry. Uh, Zidane. It's okay. Keep singing. It's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the tan on the beat about it. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. My talent's up to scrap, but that name isn't. <laughs> you really are something these days. If I am, I must have got it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Limbum, much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own, I was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times I almost lost hope. You should help me so much, not just you either. Yeah, Vivi and Echo helped out at the Eva tree. Queena was already helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to these hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Dagger. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you either. Each was all following their own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play. He's a real-life adventurer, and I th think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. I'm going to do my own voice for this. Ibsen and his friend Colin worked at the tavern in Treno. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from the rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays, we have an airship and stuff, but back then, it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes, he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. After then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Romance! Cheesy romance in a JRPG! <laughs> Dane, I... Dagger? Can't you... can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come... who's singing it? <gasps> the sunset makes the Italian world look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? She's piecing it together. Dagger! Dagger, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping! I don't want to wake him! 
Well... I... I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I turned six, I must have been here in Maiden Sari. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably hu huge hurricane hit this village, and that's as far as I can remember. That day I... Uh, I was with my true mother on a little boat, far from the village. There's a cove behind Echo's house, right? The boat I was on was just like that one there. It all came back to me when I heard the song on the boat. That song's from Maiden Sari, so that's why nobody else knows it. How did you get Alexandra? How come you gotta be a princess? How come you don't have a cut summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm and the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she thought was a mother became someone else and her true mother was already dead? Dagger has lost two mothers? This whole thing! Whole game's about loss and loneliness. Honestly. I used to pray every day here at the Edleon Mall. You too? You pray here too, Echo? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy I remembered. Dagger? Welcome home. So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yep, I made up my mind. So dang, Dagger, I I'm going with you. I'll be breaking the promise of my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for, and so do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Dagger. Oh, let's go pray together. All right. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Guja and return to Alexandria... Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mark's coming too. Mark! Lady Echo. Now don't forget that your boys have a home here in Maiden Sari. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be light-hearted and free. The thoughts of the Edleon Wall will always lift your heart. What now? You want some more, eh? The victor lives. The defeated die, you know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to moi. 
tell me why why did you not kill moi <laughs> maybe i should just hey moi instead of me <laughs> me instead of moi well that's a tough question are you really that unhappy that i let you live I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Zidane? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Mm. He is only consistent. Is that his... Is his own predictability. Uh, did you say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm. And he called you Red, right? And his name is Amarant. Some call me the Flaming Amarant. Fine, we'll call you Amaran. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. So, although we have been able to do stuff here, this isn't particularly a great lineup, um, just because we've got two healer summoners. Vivi staying in. I'm going to keep Echo in for now. And for storyline purposes, my only thing, we're going to put Amaran and leave, De leave Decker. Not behind, but... That's going to be who's fighting. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next up, the infantry. And, I'm pretty sure he said it there for you. Um, if you've liked this episode, please like and subscribe. And I will... Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.